It is 1.30 a.m. I just stayed up until 1.30 a.m. to watch the Mariners blow a 3-0 lead and lose 6-3 to to the Dodgers. Now, I understand that the Dodgers are not going to get shut out very often, if ever. Uh, Bryce had probably his worst start of the season. He went four, maybe four and a third. 11-10, 12-10. 110. That was a three hour and 20 minute game. Okay, so it did take a while. Uh, where is the game box? Uh, Munoz got tagged with the loss and blown save. Yep. Yep. So Miller, four innings pitched, five hits, two runs, both of them earned, two walks, five strikeouts, gave up two home runs, whatever. Snyder came in, struck out three in an inning and two thirds. Sauce went two thirds of an inning, gave up a hit, a run. It was earned. Munoz went one and a third, blew the save, hit three, walked a guy, hit a guy, walked another guy, and struck out a guy. And then Voth came in and got the final out for us. Bueller went four, struck out one. The Mariners only struck out five times, walking four times. Had three hits and a reached on, or had eight hits and a reached on error. That is 15 base runners for the Mariners to 11 for the Dodgers. Six hits, four walks, one walk. Hit by pitch. So, yeah, uh, it was a game where everything looked like Victor Robles had a couple of hits, but unfortunately he got pulled from the game due to what looked like a hip injury, potentially, or potentially an aggravation of it on the home run in the uh, the, the first home run the Dodgers uh, hit in the fourth. And it looked like he caught it, but he didn't. It went over the wall and then down through the wall and back onto the field. Just watch the highlight of it on Sports Center tomorrow. It's going to be great. Tom Canzone came in, didn't get a hit for him. Uh, unfortunately, Julio was uh, not able to come up for a fifth time today. He didn't get any hits, but he did get on base once through the air, so pretty good. Kale had a couple of hits, a couple of runs, but a strikeout. Raised his batting average to 212. Uh, Luke Rayleigh had two walks and a run, which was awesome. Justin Turner pinch hit for him, which was weird. And he just got out. Randy Arozarena, three. He played center field, three at bats and a walk. Uh, he played center field for us today. After Robles came out, means when Polanco came in, it was a whole thing. Polanco, or not Polanco, wrote that. And then Polanco came out and Dylan Moore came in. Polanco had two hits, three RBIs and a walk. Only struck out once, so like he, he looked really good today. He may have been the best player on the team. Uh, and then Demo came in, managed to um, almost get thrown out on a uh, pickoff attempt, uh, and then got picked, got thrown out on a caught stealing with Haniger, uh striking out at the plate. Josh Rojas did nothing today. Leo Rivas had two hits, but cost us a out in the top of the ninth. When there was a wild pitch and he was on second, he decided to take off all the way for home. I don't know if the third base coach made him home. I certainly hope he didn't. Uh, the one thing that was cool, though, we kicked Otani in the yard today. No home runs for him, a single and a triple. Uh, but he did get a stolen base for his 38th. Mookie Betts had a hit. Freeman had a hit. Tio Hernandez had a hit. The Dodgers actually struck out nine times. Got that Kike and uh, Teoscar Hernandez are both on the Dodgers. Max Muncy hit a had a hit. Uh, Hayward came in, pinch hit, hit a three run home run. So yeah, it wasn't great. This is a team that at one point was eleven game or fifteen games over five hundred and had a ten game lead in the American League West. Uh, they know they now have a four game deficit in the American League West. And are 64 and 63. The Dodgers are 75 and 52. So, yes, we are only 11 games behind the Dodgers. But we're also only five, almost 500. And the Dodgers have not been playing well before we started playing against them in the last couple of days. So, yeah. Uh, it was a game where a lot of stuff happened. Uh there was at one point a foul ball went into the stands and I was like half paying attention at this point. I was like, foul ball. I was like, okay, you know, just look away for a second, check out anything might else be going on. And uh, then Aaron's like, now, what's not like, uh, like, or, or not flowers, like, um, 
Dave does, and apparently two guys fell into a hole. Yeah, trying to get the foul ball. One of the weirdest things I've ever seen in a baseball game. So it is a full moon, which does explain why baseball was so weird. Uh, today, the Yankees had a four-hour game, blowing a uh, blowing it in the 12th when they allowed the Guardians to bat around them in the top of the 12th. Very difficult to bat around somebody in the bottom of an inning. Uh, that's, you know, the ninth or later. But, yeah. Uh, I'm hoping we'll know more about the Robles injury later today. Uh, if Robles ends up needing to miss time, that means this season's probably, probably done. Uh, we have to have a Rosarena play, center field, Hanniger play, right, Canzone play left, and bring up, I don't even know. I don't even know who you bring up. And bring up somebody to be the fourth outfielder. I really don't know who you would bring up. Duke Ellis? Cade Marlowe? You bring up Duke Ellis, Cade Marlowe, or Samad Taylor. Cade Marlowe has been up already this year, so probably him. What? Well, that would be for tomorrow. The other thing is you would have Julio back in center field, Scott said, for the homestand. But the problem is Robles has basically been the best hitter on the Mariners outside of Julio all year. And Julio's been decent. He gets singles. He's He's been struggling for power, and he strikes out a lot. He's actually been able, he's been pretty good. He's got a, like a 120 WRC plus from coming back from injury. And that includes the Platinum Sombrero game against the Mets. So this is a team that has all of the tools. It has all of the tools. It has good pitching. It has good, it has good hitters. It has good fielding. It has everything you need. But, yeah. It's just one of those teams that just... There's something wrong. And I don't know what... I don't know what they are. But, yeah, at this point, I don't even know what to say about the Mariners anymore. This game will come. Another game's coming up tomorrow. 10-10 Eastern again, so... Hopefully I'm not up at 2 o'clock in the morning again tomorrow. I mean, I probably will be, but... <laughs> probably will be, because that's just what I do. But I don't want to be watching baseball if we're going to be bad at baseball. 2 a.m. I might go out tomorrow and do something. Just to get the stench out of my mouth. Maybe I'll get Chinese food. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll eat Arby's. Maybe I'll play Pokemon Go, because... I'm actually pretty, really close to level 40. So, yeah, somebody fix the Mariners. Probably make another video in the morning about what I think is wrong with the Mariners. I didn't even score today. I didn't even score the game today. 